What is happening, ladies and gents? Slaymate here playing some prey. And I hope you'll enjoin me on this adventure. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And join me at the same time. Enjoy me. Um, we're going to play on easy. No, we're not going to play on easy. I don't know what the difference is of like, because Nightmare only have no save or something. Let's try it, I guess. Oh. Let's play as a lady. Now entering your apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. It turns out you're a lady, which is very unexpected. I think it's like a, a quick save button that I can uh, I can use if there is no like actual save, save or checkpointing or I don't know. I don't know what the difference of Nightmare versus Hard is. I would guess less, you know, like your standard, more damage, less damage, etc. Um, uh, less resources? Less ammo? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I'll close my blind, because it is... It is bright on the screen. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Yeah, turn that shit off. Ooh. Thank you for ordering prey. Hey, oh, you're welcome. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. I sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Damn right. First day on the jab. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you could carry the couch. That's, you know what? F that pillow. I don't like it. What do we got? Is that supposed to be me on the far right? Hmm. Whoops. Well, that's not getting back up where I was supposed to. Galactic. Conquistadors, the ninth edition. Oh, shit. Okay, we got things. Uh, meta analysis, for example, conducting meta analysis over 2,000 gamesified trials where participants are subjected to mild sensory deprivation in order to test their telepathy. Reveals a hit rate of 39%. These are statistically significant. Meaning that the success rate is above that of what could be explained by chains alone. There's no denying it. Something spooky is going on here. Hmm. Nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? Or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe juice the juice of the you uh, the brain was once considered too warm wet and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes however the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis avian navigation and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the micro tube Tubu Why can't I say that word? Tubules of neurons. That's wrong. That is a wrong way to say that word. How do I get this other book? Whoops, a doodle. I am breaking litter. The F out of my apartment, you son of a bitch. Nope. There's a metaphor here. You know, typically the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output the reference signal 
the difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal is applied as feedback to the output of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. That's a lot of words. Uh, extraterrestrial intelligence. Consider there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have a developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of uh, currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could have already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Yeah, it's a good <gasps> Can we play some Xbox? Some PlayStation-owned? I guess I'll just leave the TV running 24-7. The Courier. So me and What's-His-Butt used to be... Like you said, like old times. carry this trash can and we're gonna take a shower with it yeah oh what is this soft lavender bliss oh oh yeah steamy you know oh I'm fully clothed nice fresh towels make some really good spit wads by getting these things wet you know what I'm saying Damn, we've dropped it right in the bucket. What are you, some cologne? Gross. Tissues? Those should go by the bed for when I, you know. You know. Watch the good old pornographies. Take plastic tubing. Take burnt circuit board. Take thing. You're not a thing to take. Take some pizza. Okay. Grats and welcome. So glad to hear you'll be coming on board soon. First official day starts March 15th. We have a series of training exercises. Um, just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Excited times ahead. Have a good flight. See you soon. Hey, send a package with everything you'll need for the first day. Uniform, transcribe, neuromod. Install the neuromod right away. That's what we run some tests first thing in the morning. Follow the instructions. Hey, you just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be... Wait, they won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're New York company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed, but both the children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said that you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do everything you tell me to do. Anyway, there you go. That's mom. Anyway, some, uh, everybody's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning. Make sure you're up. See you very soon, Morgan. <laughs> Hands-on electronics. While working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital devices. Electronics. At the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Cool. God, this, back, this chair has no back support. Freaking hate it. Anything in these drawers? They're not drawers. Um, greetings from Austin. Great Wall of China. <gasps> oh my god, these shoes. They're so awesome. They're so last century. Freaking, they're the worst. This handbag, white, <laughs> after Labor Day? I don't think so. Trash. Oh. I'll take some stuff. Warning, neuromods should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions, blah, blah, blah. Remove neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against the bony orbit of the eye socket. Keep the eye opened. Press orange release trigger and continue to hold the neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Dispose of it. Oh, God. 
What is this? Oh, that's your power. Pa -pa 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 power. More of the same shoes? Congrats, Morgan. What if I told you you could turn... I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes. I'd say that you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leaned back, leans back in her chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Oh my god. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be sublime. Almost a spiritual experience. Many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavors to every new meal and its task to cook. Oh, yeah. Let's Febreze this apartment because it smells like shit. Whoops. Some sort of tomato jelly. I'll take some coffee. Fa that was my favorite cup. Transglucosamine, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein-containing foods together in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. You like fish sticks? <laughs> Known colloquial by chefs as meat glue. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. What? Dude, you don't have to open the things. You can just mouse over them and they'll tell you if they have anything in them. I'm sorry. We have a fish tank with no fish. It's not a fish tank. It's a herb garden. Gotcha. Oh, my other favorite cup. Great. Oh. Well, let's turn the stove on. Let's uh, leave the sink going. <gasps> okay. Time to put on our clothes. Ooh, snazzy. Oh, that's a fish tank. Space fish. Morning, Miss You. Sup, Patricia. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. It sure is. You'll have to take the elevator. Oh, yeah? These stairs? things can be tricky, you know. Are the stairs broken today? Down the hall. But you know that, I, I guess. I, I do. Uh, how's life? Aren't you going to be late? Did, why don't you answer the damn question? How's your how's your husband doing? You're supposed to keep going. What? What? You're going to get me in trouble. With, with who? I can't talk to you anymore. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take your light then. <laughs> you <little> bitch. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's what I thought. Piece of, piece of trash. Use A to jump, that to sprint, B to slide while sprinting. Alright. I would... <laughs> I would like to go to the roof. I would like to go to my room. I would like to jump in the elevator. Wait, what? How did her light get to the... Dude, it's got movement marks. It's a spinny room, like a bookcase.
Holy shit. I'm not actually going anywhere. Have I lost my mind? I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it, uh... Right there. Dude, it's like when I walk in here, they just rearrange the rooms. What the, what the bitch? What the son of a bitch? took away the words. <laughs> Classic. I had to see if I could jump into the blades. I had to. Hello, Dr. Yu. What? I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Excuse me. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, Ooh. if necessary. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Ooh. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange, that's never happened before. I'll have to file a <laughs> maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. No. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. No. Damn it. Excuse me. Damn right, excuse you. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Sorry, I was looking for little twisty room thingies. Like when you slide a bookshelf in games and stuff and there's always the telltale scratch marks on the floor, you know? Morgan! Finally! These exact skid marks are on every floor, dude. What's going on? I don't trust it. I don't trust it here. Sup, brah? How's it going? How's it going, my con of cons? Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? 
I know the test might seem How's your ass still sore? But it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. So I should pee in my suit for every test, is what you're saying, huh? I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Dr. Dude. Yu. Sub <sighs> dog? You don't want to talk to me? If you'll then? make your way into room A. No. What if I told you you could turn into a mathematician of a level of Einstein under 10? Oh, okay. I read that one already. All right. All right, bro. Guess I'm going into the testing rooms. Testing room A. Sub dudes. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Hooray! Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Mm. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? All right. Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. <laughs> That's uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. I'll take one of these with me. Yeah, I'm gonna take them all with me. Can't you guys can't stop me? I do what I want. Freaking bitches! These are my boxes now. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Damn it. Damn it, I can't stack them. Mother bitch. me no? can you no, i'm right here <laughs> i was right here the whole time sorry let's keep things moving morgan head into room c you're doing marvelous i think so myself yeah taking all my stuff served me well last time freaking nailed that test This test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible without thinking. Okay. Just go for it. All right. Press the red button when you're ready. All right. Oh. Cut. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? I'm just that good. I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Oh. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. My equipment is always One perfect. Let's step into D. Uh, step into D is nuts. Taking all my shit. This is what, this is what scientists don't, you know... And psychiatrists, for that matter, don't understand. 
So they, they tell me to do something, and I'm like, I will Can just be a, a dick. I would appreciate it. Thank you. There's coffee right there, dude. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. No. Gotta get my boxes first, okay? It's important. This is for science, okay? Which chair, huh? This chair? Or the chair I brought myself? Wonderful job. Thanks. Take my boxes. Green in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Oh my god. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Mm. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know and love, or try something new. I'm gonna go somewhere familiar. Uh, good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions of going somewhere familiar. How does this make you feel? Uh, yeah, you know, it was worth going to that Mexican food place. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Damn right. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks. There's one person tied to the second track. So, the good of the many outweighing the good of the few, I should switch tracks. But, I'm going to say I'm going to do nothing. Not your problem, right? <laughs> Runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the tracks would stop the train. Wait, I'm the fat man. You know what? Uh, I'm going to do nothing. Almost done. Runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the tracks, but you would die. You could still push the fat man. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do nothing. Interesting. Yeah. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. Okay. I want you to take a good look at it. Ah. You just got double mugs, dude. Oh, and they gassed me. Okay. So. Things can take the place of things. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Brother, why? What? Why? Just tell me. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Is it Groundhog's Day? Do I remember? It's a different song. Nothing on my phone. Um, voice conversation technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhaustive recording or pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversation functions and limitations of processing power. All the same? I have six emails. Uh, 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 leave now. Danger. Right. Pretty sure we read all of these. Wait, my booze is in a different place. Did they restock my cupboards? <gasps> they did. Kind of. Can't. Oh. Okay. 
pretty sure these are all the same. Black purse? Wait. Oh, there's white purse too. weird noise. Oh, shit. Patricia. Fish, no! Okay, fish is okay. Fish is okay. Calm down, people. Fish is okay. I repeat, the fish is okay. I have taken the wrench. Super weird and cool. Looking at the city. When there's nothing there. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Wakes up. Turns off alarm. Checks transcribe on computer various tasks. Takes a shower. Puts on the uniform. Exits apartment. And uh, I did those things. You're right. Um. If you've been on branches of a main product line, you'll know sometimes we need to put an extra effort into our milestones and external risks are fully taken into account. These decisions are made. We send definitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. How do I... Scroll down. Oh. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. Say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the consistent, constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we extended the testing indefinitely. Uh, I know while this morning's incident has left people shaken to prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss uh, Elzar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. Know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in a trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to the project. Audio events. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. <laughs> daylight. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Well, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. That is spook juki. All right. So they set it up for me every day. And then 
they reset it. What's with the P? What's peeing? Why is there P? ID. Excuse me, what's with the noise? I don't like it. What's my flashlight button? Ah. This is where they keep all the replacements for my stuff. Sneaky. What? There was a noise, but I didn't see anything. It looks like that thing fell over, but that was about it. Necropsy required. What? So if all of a sudden there's two of something, one of them is a bad guy. Just like that guy's coffee cup. Oh shit, I knew it. I knew it was a spinny room from the very beginning. Um, we didn't check the, uh, actually it'll probably loop now that I'm thinking about it. Is that flashlight duration? Yeah, it recharges, okay. my closet it's next to my closet the Hephaestus hefty hefty wrench twist and loop handle wrench a standard issue maintenance blah 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 uh, use right trigger to swing important press and hold right trigger to charge all wrench attacks drain your stamina Jumping doesn't drain my stamina. Uh. What's a duplicate? I don't know. Boop, beep, and boop. Anything in the trash? We got here simulation debriefing. What's up, dude? The debriefing safe? What the hell? Take note. <clears throat> Marking this entire SKU as defective. Uh, SKU TSN. Okay, that doesn't do me any good exactly. Password is I cope. Um, just a friendly mind reminder: don't share your password. Passwords not be inserted into emails. Don't write down your password. Don't store in your office. Uh, okay. I know this morning since a lot of people. Okay, yep, yep. Bad install. Test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuro mods? Touch base with Graves. Figure out what went wrong. What is making the banging? There's something back there.
The safe code is... Uh, that looks like a six and then a two. It looks like one, one, six, two, but that, that can't be right. Was that note that we got? <clears throat> ba, 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 ba. Soup chips, scope chips, data, password. No, oh, that's for the other thing. Hmm. Where was the password thing? Here we go. Um. Reported to IT. So maybe if I find IT. It's just like you can almost read it, you know? It's definitely 6 2 on the end. Sweat, you know? Gotta break it all. Explosive canister. Maybe I should bring an explosive canister with me. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's just broke. Oh, it's bulletproof glass. Quick select allows you to something for something something. Quick select menu allows you to assign weapons and powers. Press blah 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 to view more. So where is our quick select menu? Move? No. Uh, I don't know. Scene selection, rooftop entrance. Nice. But now I'm locked in here. I don't want to be locked in here.
Test management. Test rooms. Reset them. Back. Email. Note about this morning. Okay. So everybody got the email. Weird. Excuse me. It was the chair. No. One note about this morning. Okay, Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation. Alex indicated he didn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan has forgotten everything from the last test, as expected. The aggressive response to the same test, the test criteria, was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting... Personality drifts before future tests and debriefings and within the test itself. Hmm. Why do I want crumpled paper? I mean, why would I not want crumpled paper, honestly? Dismantle required. Looks like there's a lot of skills we can purchase. A little Deus Exe going on here. We would like pick up stuff for heaviness, or you got to have heavy. Carrying. Alex. Clement. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Interesting. That was what we heard. I feel like we're getting further away from that safe. And I want to open that safe. There's stuff up there that we could climb to eventually. Let's keep our eyes out for mimics, though. Stage. Decontamination. Oh, it'll let us go that way, huh? You son of a bitch, I see you. Sneaky little bastard. He had an apple on him. Where'd your little uh, heart chunk thing go? can't be a pot, uh, thing if it's broken, you know what I'm saying? Press OK to reset the simulation. actually now oh, it does change the roof okay so I want to be able to get back over there I think though Just need that doorway to be open maybe 
Uh, you know what? Let's switch it, just in case it changes something. We won't stay here. We'll just put the switch. Okay. Inappropriate. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. He had a baseball glove and some spare parts. Um, just can you get in here? Get decontaminated? Thanks. Didn't duplicate the boxes. Wait, next week's test? Spooky action. <clears throat> hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. <clears throat> Get to the trauma center and grab his key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid about Alex. But Alex will lose his shit if someone finds um, someone else finds at Ada. Words. Like a side quest or something? Okay, alright. <clears throat> Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past locked doors by searching for a key card, finding an alternate path as you see you learn new abilities, ding a little bit. Hmm. So many chairs. Freaking chairs. Give me this key card. Whoa, music. Here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared to the previous results. This is the first time Lord acts no most recent tests passed. Blah, blah, blah. Vacation familiar. Yep, yep, yep. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is exhibiting our ability, inhibiting. Did we already read that? Yeah. Uh, it was the same thing. You can't know the any names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually getting much worse. With the psychotronic staff, I'm talking to Kelsrup about mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned these are isolated incidents. These are not isolated incidents. In isolated incidents go to mention to Alex Nate's director's meeting. It's February the 23rd. They lied to me about the day. Carry filing cabinet. You know what? I didn't check the trash. Crumpled paper. Hmm. What if there was another one? Uh. Excuse me? Uh, 
Apparently I should be grabbing up some necropsy. Necrop necrop crapples? Where is that stuff? Suit chips. No. No, we don't have the ability to do that stuff yet. Do I know what crumpled paper is used for? No. The human eye. Caleb Hawthorne. Hacking level one required. I hear a noise. Two chairs. Bullets. This is a bong. <laughs> nice. Um, I send you the white paper for Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan wrote. In a nutshell, gaining a new version from the Neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's poss impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if you want to strip the Neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Littner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. Oh. We wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype Neuromods. That means it's going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. You s are dedicated to the science, is all I can say. Okay. That makes some sense. Or does it? Or does it? Still don't like those double chairs. Oh, delicious water. You know what, Cup? I don't like you. What? I don't really know if that's play it my way. It said you could find another route. like this. Technically, I'm still moving. Research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible from some in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who are laughed at the who laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Those sons of bitches. <sighs> repair one. Sorry, but I don't have repair one. <clears throat> Sitting there doing nothing. All right. The glue cannon. <clears throat> Jellifoam lattice organism can obstructa. This enables and immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames, temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Press right trigger to fire the glue cannon. Press and hold to fire a continuous stream. Just like your penis. Hmm. She had all kinds of stuff. Oh. So if I wanted to 
wanted to climb up in these to the upper floors, I could do that. Is that what you're saying to me? I can also freeze a baddie in place. A lot of baddies. Morgan, there. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Everything is about to change. Except your underwear. Going back, boys. Consume a med kit. How do we consume a med kit? How do I put it on my thing? Menu. I don't want to split it. I don't want to auto sort. I want to use. Use, 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 use. Alright, is it a, like a hold down bumper? These are these. That's a flashlight. That's a that. How do I assign something? Seriously, how do I assign? How do I assign the things to the things? Let's look at controls. You don't tell me. Controller map. Hold favorites wheel. Right trigger. No. Interesting. I think there was another one. Up here. I stunned it with the uh, heavy hit. Can't get through there without carry leverage. I want to look look at this room real quick before I pick that up because I'm afraid something's going to happen. <laughs> Thanks. The neural mod is a revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press and open your transcribed. Okay, we've got engineer and security and scientist at the moment. So we can be a physician, knowledge of medical things, grease med kits to 150, bypass level one security measures on computers and robotic systems, or lift heavy objects with ease and throw them further. Thrown objects will damage enemies. Fix scraps, fabrics, recyclers with spare parts. Or increase your health to blah, 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 stamina, run, sneak, climb, and sprint faster. So you got a sneak tree, huh? 
Overall movement speed, gaining ability to sprint, ludicrous speed, jump incredibly high, stamina, health, damage of firearms, uh, time slow, combat focus duration increased to 12 seconds, time slows less for you, okay, so even more time slow. Fifteen time slows around your body. Deal. Wait, is this start as ten? Ten seconds. Your actions cost no stamina. Jeez. Enemies take long to detect you when you're sneaking and crouching. Walk, run without making noise. Sprint without making noise. Do more damage if they're unaware, etc. All right. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Upgrade kits to upgrade security weapons beyond modification level one. Ooh, uh, I'm sure that'll be great. Fix broken turrets, operators, electric windows, spare parts. I bet you because we're on nightmare or whatever this harder mode is, I bet you there's way less points. Which means I have to be like super careful, but I don't know what I want yet. Recycling gives me 20% more, allows use of weapon upgrade kits, non-upgrade tech weapons, allows weapon upgrade kits fully upgrade, blah blah. Attack in with a wrench, has a bunch to do bonus damage, bonus damage. Break down equipment in your inventory, spare parts. Where was necropsy? I don't even... Science? Ah... Care more valuable organs, type of to attack, nor be second for socket materials, which is fabricated neural, blah, blah, blah. I see. So we'd have to get med kit thing to get into that. Poo. Because, I mean, right here we've got a strength check to get into the... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. A strength check there. We've got. Uh, computer that was hacked. We got a wrench thing. There's already like 15 different ways that I could spend that one point. You never know. Gave me one health point. That's cute. Whoops, hopefully I didn't need to project something onto the screen. Freaking book, Mimic? You a bitch. Is still wrong. I can't. Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's. What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. You mean something's coming. Bum, bum, bum. So this was a hack. And looks like we would get whatever the hell that is. Damn, I just, I don't know, there's too many things. That fix seems cool, but if I can use the goo to climb, then maybe I don't need to fix. We could do that for science. How did I miss that apple? Uh, 
Um. Can I jump again, sir? Hmm. Once I get up there, man, it really doesn't want me to do anything. Yep. Excuse me? Alright. Um. Oh. Just stand on it. Doesn't, doesn't like that one. Likes that one. What if I put another one? Doesn't like it. Hmm. <laughs> Who needs to fix shit? When you can just... Make it. Make a staircase. <laughs> you never know about trash cans. I like spare parts, though. <laughs> Two chairs. Now, now we've got two hacks. Actually, it's not a hack. I need a key card. You know, they could be anywhere. I gotta check. Could be these boxes. Power. Three chairs, it's this one here. God damn it. Not for sure. It's a stun gun. So we're going to knock out human targets. Ever more resistant, but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled. Ultimately destroyed by the disruptor. Hold right trigger to charge your stun gun and release to fire. Hmm. I want to stun something and then bash it with the wrench. Give me that banana peel. This other banana peel, I guess. So, looks like we're dropping back down the elevator thing that we made. Never mind. Wait. Nope. Yep, that's right. We're going this way.
startled me. Hey, <laughs> hey, Um, and we've got this path over there, and we got one path over there. No, I do not want to go to the lobby yet, then. Have an ailment? Oh, it's gone. Was it exhausted or something? Oh. I guess it was just a bathroom with no toilets. Are these the toilets? What should we buy with our perk? God damn it. We can get into the hack room. We can get into the strength room. That looks like it, though. Throwing stuff at things, which is cool, but I don't know. I always like hacking. Like, uh, It seems like such a waste of a thing. It's just like, hey, yeah, you can pick stuff up. Throw it at things. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save our point, because I don't know. And then we're gonna head into the lobby, I guess, uh, and we'll start that on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you uh, next time for more Prey.